For many years, analog tape was the primary medium for recording and mixing throughout most of the classic era of recording, from the early days of Memphis's Sun Studio and Motown's Hitsville, to the creative production techniques developed at Abbey Road Studios, to the classic 24 and 48 track multi track studios of the 70s and 80s. Eventually, digital tape took over from analog recorders, and ultimately, nonlinear recording and hard disk storage finally put an end to the rule of tape. But even to this day, Thanks to the lush, warm sound of analog tape pushed into saturation and the unique quality of classic tape-based effects, the distinctive sound of analog tape is still in demand. Some studios still incorporate tape as part of the recording and mixing process, and even more producers regularly turn to the many emulations of analog tape and tape effects available to the modern digital recordist. With all this interest in tape, today's engineers and producers may want, or need, to be well-versed in the ins and outs of analog tape and tape-based recording and mixing techniques and effects. That's where this course comes in. We'll start with a brief look at the history of tape, through its humble beginnings to its heyday in the multi-track studios of the 60s and 70s, including the relevant physics and the mechanical components of a tape recorder, the heads, reels and motors, and the tape path itself. We'll go over the various tape formats, from mono and stereo to the numerous multi-channel configurations, including the different pro and semi-pro standards, and even the compact cassette, along with a brief look at some different tape brands and formulations, and the most common noise reduction schemes used over the years to reduce the level of the background hiss common to all analog tape recordings. We'll go through the standard tape alignment procedure performed before every professional recording session, including cleaning and demagnetizing the recorder. Of course, we'll look at various aspects of working with tape, Recording, overdubbing, punching, and editing the old school way with a razor blade and splicing block. We'll also go over additional techniques like sound on sound recording, utilizing tape saturation for warmth and presence, and some of the still popular classic tape based effects like echo, flanging, and ADT, doubling, including the distinctive ADT effect made famous at Abbey Road. We'll touch on issues related to working with tape like background hiss and generation loss, wow and flutter tape handling, and storage issues like print-through, along with some brief considerations about archiving and the restoration of old tapes. And to bring these things into the present day, the course will wrap up with a brief look at tape in the digital era, including various digital tape formats like ADAT and DAT, the integration of analog tape and DAW-based systems, and even virtual tape, the emulation of the sound quality and classic effects of analog tape via plugins. To get things rolling, I'll start with a brief look at the history of analog tape in the next video.